So welcome back to the Sawmill, friends. I got two announcements here before we get this video going, actually three. The first one is, today's December the 5th and it's my birthday. I'm 44 years old today. The second announcement is, we got some brand new hoodies and t-shirts on the Farm Focus site. There's a link down below and these shirts have the logo on the front, but on the back of them, they have Mr. Cotto. And I'm pointing at Mr. Cotto because I'm in here in the mechanic shop today and he's parked right beside the tripod. So go check those out if you have time. There's links down below to that. It's a really cool t-shirt and a hoodie. It's got a full picture of the CL35 machine on the back of it. I think it looks really good. I think those turned out really well. Shout out to Farm Focus for getting those done for us before Christmas. And the third announcement, which is pertaining to this video, I just put some brand new lumber on the website. It's white oak, it's been kiln dried, it's been surfaced on two sides. I did not surface the edges, only the front and the back. And friends, this lumber was harvested by horses exactly two years ago on this channel. You're getting ready to see the footage that was filmed, I think right at maybe November or December of two years ago. I can't remember the exact day. I know it was two years ago. And it was harvested by Chad Miano over at Miano Horse Logging over in Southwest Virginia. We did a full video on that and I'm gonna show you guys how these horses harvested the white oak logs, how they were cut in the mountains, drugged down the hill, put in my dump trailer, and then how I sawed them on the Super 70 the next day. Now this lumber, friends, is pretty unique. I think it has a pretty good story because of where it came from. You can go to a hardware store or a lumber yard and buy white oak and it's just like the white oak that I have here, but my white oak was drugged through the forest by horses. I think that makes it pretty unique and has a really cool story. So if you've got a project you're working on, a small box, a little tabletop, and you will put some white oak into that project, it'd be pretty neat, I think, to say that white oak from that project came from horses, and here's the video to prove it. So if you want to purchase these boards, friends, I'm going to put 50 packs on the website today, and they probably won't last long, but there's a link down below to my main website, and you'll get three boards. Like I was saying, they'll be surfaced on the front and the back, but not on the edges. As far as the width, they'll be between five and three quarter and eight inches on the width. And a lot of them are quarter sawn and flat sawn, etc. I'm gonna try to put all the quarter sawn boards I can in there so you guys get the best stuff, but you may get a flat sawn or a rift sawn board. Now guys, I really appreciate everybody's time and watching this footage you're getting ready to see and that shows the whole process of what this lumber went through before it comes to you guys if you decide to buy some of the boards. You'll get three boards total, they're 30 inches long and they will come from the same board so the grain should match up pretty well on that. So enjoy the video guys and I'll see you back here in just a minute.
friends. Now this is the first time that I've done any quarter sawing since I got the LT70. And my goodness, that chain turner sure is handy for something like this. You can do this on a manual sawmill though, guys. If you have the claw turner that goes on the 40 or the 35, no problem. You might have to get down here and use a cant hook to try to position it a little bit better, but it can be done. I used to do it on my 40 all the time. So this is the first position. As you can see, I think he calls this reverse roll because traditionally your first cut, you'd have this right here against the bunch right here, or that's how I always quarter sawed. And this way you're doing it in a reverse method. It's kind of leaning this way instead of upright. And I may be totally wrong about that. If so, Robert can correct me down in the comments below. But anyways, guys, you'll come in here and your first cut is a wedge cut. And that's pretty much waste right there. And after you get that gone, you start coming out and making your cuts. We're cutting five quarter. If you're new to this channel, that's inch and a quarter on the thickness. And by doing this method right here, we'll be able to grab some really nice quarter sawn boards off this face coming down right here. I'm not sure how many we'll get, maybe three or four before we start losing the grain and it starts going sideways on us, but we will get some really nice boards right here. second position of the day we'll come in here again and take a wedge cut off the top and then we'll get several really nice quarter sawn boards right here then we'll finish it up and make a third maneuver on this log or what's left of it and this half will be done it's going pretty good so far
guys. I hope everybody enjoyed that video. And if you want to grab some of those wide oak boards, they won't last long. There's a link down below. And if you want to buy Mr. Cotto's shirt or hoodie, there's links to that as well. Now today's Tuesday, like I was saying earlier, it's my birthday. And on Thursday's video, which I will film tomorrow, I will show you guys what the big announcement is here on this channel that I've been talking about for the past few weeks. And it's also the reason you've seen a lack in videos here lately. I've had a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes to make this deal happen. So thanks for watching, friends. I really appreciate it. There's links down below to everything we talked about today. And I'll see you guys back here on Thursday. And you will not be disappointed when you hear the announcement or see the announcement. You're going to see it. You're going to hear about it and you're going to see it. So we'll see you guys here in a few days.